hear electric. No matter the venue, the home folks love their silver and black. They are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with the Tennessee Titans. Daniel Carlson, the kickoff for the Raiders. And we are underway here in Las Vegas. Pulls it in at the 13. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. down gonna get him five up to the 30. A quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 30 yard line. The first down run got five here's second and five. Tannehill gonna turn and give this to Henry. Oh he breaks a tackle and he's got an alley. Just falls short down at the one yard line. 74 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. Now it's Tannehill. And it's a Titans touchdown. Jeff Swain, a one yard touchdown reception. And the Titans take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Uh, three plays already in the end zone. That was quick. We always talk about offenses understanding what they want to do before they go into a game, and they practice it. They have their script and the plays they want to open with. But defenses aren't just reactive. They have their own ideas as well. These ideas didn't get implemented very well. Three plays and a touchdown already scored against them. Trying to disrupt Julio Jones there, the intended target. A little too close, got the flag thrown. I'm not sure anyone can cover Julio Jones one-on-one -on -one for very long without getting their share of pass interference calls. His size, his speed, his physicality makes it almost impossible to do. Tannehill going to throw for it. Complete at the one. And he is not going to make it. They stop him up short, and this will remain a 6-0 ball game. So they went for two and failed. They didn't use him on the PAT, but now he boots this one away with a 6-0 lead. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. First and 10 at their own 26. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for a Las Vegas first down. Here's the first carry for Kenyon Drake. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Throwing quickly, that's caught by Brown out wide. And he's got some space here. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. 
That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So that as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football, all right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Brings up second and five. At the 21-yard line. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Able to find Walter. That's complete. Touchdown, Raiders. Darren Walter, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Raiders have drawn even here, and they can take the lead with the extra point to come. John Gruden never wanted to play it safe. His guys will go for two. They'll try to run it with Jacobs. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst, and if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. They'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. Here's Tannehill. And he wants Reynolds way downfield. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. These two teams all tied after one. On first and ten, Tannehill. That's taken in by Ferkser. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A really nice gain of 25 yards. A first down carry for Henry. 79 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Anthony Frisker, the intended target, and it's third and four. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Titans have taken the lead. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone to so give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. And he's going to be hit and taken down in the backfield. Just nowhere to run that time. And the try for two is snuffed out. And did the Titans get this? Yes, Tennessee football. Well, they just scored, they got the lead, and they decide to keep their foot on the accelerator. So 